Welcome to BK Gardens, Basement Edition. Today we are talking about the Sun Gold Tomatoes. Sun Gold Tomatoes are, in my opinion, the most delicious tomatoes in the world. Check out my prior love letter to the Sun Gold Tomato episode. I discovered them about three years ago in Oregon. I had never tasted them before, and really from the second I tasted them, I knew I wanted them to be part of my growing routine going forward. The tricky thing is out here on the East Coast in New York, they are not readily available. Um, you don't find them at grocery stores, farmer markets. They don't travel well, but they are delicious. So really they were the motivation for me to start growing from seed because I couldn't go to my local garden center and find them in a starter plant. Uh, I started really focusing on how do I get growing from seed. So today's episode is about the easy steps to start growing sun gold tomatoes from seed. First step, you gotta get your seeds. So you know, I've been using uh, Johnny Selected Seeds for the past three years. I like their germination rate. You know, I'm, I just started some about um, two weeks ago. You know, uh, started about 15 cups and we have about 16, 15 that are viable at this point. So the germination rate is pretty consistent and high. Uh, these again, cost not too much, about five bucks. I'll give you the cost of each item to get going. The total cost of everything that I'm gonna talk to you about today is about $160. The good news is actually, hey, about 150 of those, uh, of that $160 cost is one-time cost, and that's it. You're gonna pay once and then you are good to go. So really the cost per year, it really gets down to soil and a little bit of seeds that you need. I really need one packet to get going and I have more than enough for the whole season. Uh, so step one, get your seeds. Next step is get them planted and germinated. What uh, I use initially will, will be these peat jiffy cups. These things are about uh, size three and one eighth inches. Um, you can get like, uh, I think six bucks, you can get a pack of like 20 of these. And what I'll do is uh, in terms of mix, I'll use just a seed starting mix. Something like this is fine. Um, there's a lot of hummus in it and then I'll, this is very light material because it's really this material is, this soil seed starting mix is great because it's easy for the roots to penetrate and get going i also mix it with just some plain potting soil like here i've been using um farfard um i think that's the way you say it farfard uh potting mix um potting soil just um, you can get any potty mix. And what I'll do is I'll do a blend. I'll do roughly 50-50 into a cup so I can just get going, scoop it up in here, put it all in a bucket, combine it, and then fill up the cup about three quarters of the way. And then once it's three quarters of the way, just drop a seed in and do a light spray on it. Keep it moist for those first few days. Helpful for when you're starting to get these things germinated not required, the first few years I didn't use it, but I have the last few years is to incorporate a heat mat. You just put it on your counter or wherever you're growing, um, throw it down, this will keep the, the temperature of the soil at around you know, 70 to north of 70 degrees. I found it's helped with germination in 10 to 20 bucks. It's the best 10 or 20 bucks I've spent in gardening. I get a lot of use out of these for also growing in the winter. And then, you know, after, um, you know, you're just keeping it hydrated, making sure your, your soil is, uh, you're spraying it, keep it moist. You're gonna see them germinating. And then once they're, they're popping through, you wanna get them under grow lights as close as you can to the plant without frying it, but pretty close. They can, they can take it, um, depending on, obviously you don't wanna just keep it, monitor it the first few days. If it seems like it's getting brown or too much, give it a little more distance. But, uh, and then from that day forward, I'll put it under this grow lights from 12 to 14 hours. Uh, for the grow lights, check out my episode on how to build your grow light system for under $150. The reality is you could do it probably under a hundred. It is not hard to set up and does not cost a lot of money. And then, you know, about two weeks later, here's what you'll get. You'll get your first um, starter plants. They're still very tiny seedlings at this point. And, you know, but, they grow pretty fast. I've been using them, trying this year under uh, the new my new King LED light, which um, I built for you know under 150 bucks. 
it is um, really responding to the blue light at this stage, growing really well. Um, and what I'll do is keep them under the grow lights for the next eight to 10 weeks as they grow. And then eventually at around eight to 10 weeks, I will switch them over uh, to a larger cup, another peat moss cup. This, is, this peat cup is great because then I can actually use this to transfer directly outside. You just open up the bottom and then I can plant it directly outside when I transfer these things. But the great tip about um, using something like this is that it's actually re re reusable. Like these initial cups that I use, I get several seasons out of them. So it's again, six bucks, you can use it for two or three seasons, I find. Um, and then for outside, if you don't want to pull it out of the peat moss cup, you can just cut off the bottom and drop this right in your garden. Really easy to do. And you know the key about transferring outside and getting going, it's that your plants definitely need to adjust. So there's a few days and a few weeks they recommend um, where I put it outside just for a couple hours a day, like two or three hours in the sun, because you, they're getting used to the strength of the sun is so much more powerful than an LED light. So they need some time to get acclimated to that. Also wind, maybe cooler temperatures a little bit in that early spring, and then you are good to go. After that, you know, you're, you're growing um, your sun gold tomatoes. And, you know, from early June, so say that's the time window when I'll have these transferred outside. In about four weeks, typically, I'll start seeing my first cherry tomatoes. So like last year, we got them the week of uh, 4th of July. And we had uh, cherry tomatoes, sun golds from July into October. Delicious. We had actually, we were producing off of about nine to 10 plants about a pint a day from July into October. Highly recommend it. Check out the links below for everything you need to get going. It's about $160 if you have none of these materials to start off your first season. But then after that, it's about 10 bucks for every uh, subsequent season. So very easy to get going. You will not regret making sun gold as part of your growing routine. Hit me up with questions and comments below. And as always, keep growing. From BK Gardens, this is Sean Duggan. See you soon.